receivers for Watson. And he takes off up the middle. Watson breaking free across midfield, flashing the speed down the sidelines and driven out. Good call, Coach Herbstring. Yeah, we, we talked about him in the open about running the football. It could be a tough night to run the ball, but look into numbers. There's no linebackers. By having the five receivers out wide, it left nobody in the middle. The middle linebacker, Joe Schmidt, brought a blitz from go. The advantage, you would think, would be Notre Dame. Watson's got it. I mean, he just throws it away. It's an offense. The guy to watch is Sheldon Day on the defensive line, number 91. Scott's in the backfield on third and five when they flip it to him in the flat that he had to spin around. Makes the man miss, gets a first down, and dives to the 12-yard line. Watson rolls out, flips it in the flat. Gets me. Jordan Leggett dives for a touchdown. Crowd into this football game. Nice job. Of, then we talked about recognizing things, awareness. He saw the blitz. They got one-on-one -on -one opportunity. The linebacker could not get out in time to be able to make the play the same. On second and ten, play action. Watson fires downfield. Catch me. Hunter Renfro, the sure-handed possession receiver, beat Kabari Russell. Boy, the thing that stood out to me in these conditions is he gets outside. They're blitzing him, but how about the hands of Renfro in these conditions? High points the ball and makes the catch in front of Russell. 24 yards puts the Tigers right back in the end zone, and Watson, initial traffic inside, tries to bounce it and does die a forward for positive. Wet football, not so far. Watson, slam. Brandon walks in a one-two punch from the Tigers soft coverage be able to get that after a low snap ball right on the money that gives Scott a chance to protect himself keep his feet to be able to get into the end zone but it's the timing and awareness by, by Watson that was superior Tigers have run 11 plays and have 14 points Wait, you know, the streak was 72 in a row right so <laughs> yeah. making another 72 before yeah. somebody oh, yeah. doubts him this is Watson on the keeper, and he's knocked down. They had an understanding of what they were trying to do, but he continues to take it to the next level with film study and understanding of coverage. It's a third, third and medium for the Tigers, and that one is just tossed away. Scott not quite on the same page as the... There's some confusion. Watson looks like he wanted to hand it off. Gallman wasn't ready to take the ball, but they still get six yards. Well, it, you know, that, that there was confusion, but he didn't give up on the play. He takes a turn to the right. Gallman goes to the left, and he says, yeah, I'm not going to get the ball in there. I'm just going to follow him. He ends up picking up five yards. Excuse me, since their last rain game, and it's holding up great. Coming around the edge is Scott, and he's got about nine yards. It's amazing. Been able to control and neutralize Sheldon Day and found they're finding some room to run. Watson looking for room to run. Now he'll backpedal and just lob it out of bounds. Yeah, Chad Morris, who is it's trying to take control of this, not to mention fill the shoes of Chad Morris. Empty backfield, and it was a design run all the way, but big Sheldon Day wouldn't let the quarterback get away. Third and long now. And they also, they're bringing a lot of linebacker pressure. That, that's one of the things that they came in feeling that they had to do, and it's kind of a staple of Brian Van Gorder, is try to turn Joe Schmidt loose, who this time they bring him up from the top, and also to let Jalen Smith kind of clean it up. One thing I'm seeing is Jalen Smith is starting to spy Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson came into this game not running a lot. And so far, we go back to work here in a first down throw. Watson again high. It's just tough on more catchable ball than Deshaun Watson. He puts that ball right there. And Kane's a true freshman. By the way, Kane, they feel with Mike Williams out for the equal threats downfield. Number eight. Is that a Tampa? Watson shows a little juke and a spin. Irish show pressure up the middle. Schmidt chases down the quarterback who flips a screen and heavy travel off quickly. Well, Gallman is going to try to work here to get out, but here comes the blitz, and nobody picks him up. They just shoot him right through the A-gap. He's trying to get the ball out there, and obviously when you blitz the linebacker, that's who would have Gallman man-to-man. That's man the ultimate man. Herbie, right? Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's right. Joe but if he would have... Jet sweep motion. Scott... 
jukes his way much faster this year in this second year. Let's see if Ben Gorda's defense can get Watson off the field. A third down throw was dangerous into traffic. Redfield was closing in. Watson knocked down by Day after the throw, and it's fourth down. Well, I think he got away with one there. Redfield is actually reading the, the receivers. His eyes were on the receiver and not on the quarterback. And if his eyes were on the quarterback, he would have been able to see that he had a chance to make the interception. There's Sheldon Day finally making an impact. Didn't have to get the sack, but get into the face of Watson. You can see the eyes of Redfield 10. Never thought I'd ever see TCU or anybody up on Texas 30 to nothing in the first quarter. Scott on the pop pass. Has a couple of blockers out front. Nate Scott is in the backfield as they motioned Gallman out and the throw is incomplete. It was low. Remember, quarterback run was a real weapon for Clemson. Scott in motion. Watson does keep it and head to the end zone. Because you're right, the second half begins much like the first did. Yeah, they, they kind of went away from it, which was surprising. But the early part of the, the first half, we saw a lot of runs from Deshaun Watson. And here on a crucial third down to start this second half, you get exactly the look that they want. Dame's defense can step up. Yeah, pump fake. It's a screen in traffic. The catch is made by talented true freshman Ray Ray McLeod. But Knockout punch. Soft coverage at the top. He'll recognize that. It's actually a, he's changing the protection right now, moving a tight end leg it over, but he's got soft coverage if he wants it to, to uh, peak at the top. Third and nine, looks back to the left. Lobs it down the field. Scott with a diving attempt. Could not come up with it. Had a chance to make a ball as a beautiful throw laid out there by Watson. Yeah, so instead of going to up to the top of the soft coverage, he decides to go to one of his go-to guys. Scott, the ball is absolutely perfectly thrown on the outside shoulder. You see the separation. Scott did what he needed to do at the line of scrimmage to pull away from Luke. The ball is thrown to the outside shoulder where he can go away from the defender. He just was not wasn't able to hold on to the football. Sean Watson... A game where he's been involved in the run game, which we anticipated. A couple touchdown passes, 72 yards rushing, averaging over 10 yards a carry when he does keep the ball. And, of course, the last touchdown they had was him keeping it. It's a long one on third down. Figures to be a quarterback run. Watson able to just wriggle for enough need for this Irish defense to try to make a play, turn things their way. Watson rolling. And he's brought down and hammered really hard. Now still you hold your breath with a guy that had an ACL 10 months ago. Rolls out on third down. Fires near side. Tips. Is it a catch? No ruling yet. They're talking about it. Yes on a tip. Right next to us over yeah. here. Watch Renfro, Chris. This is like backyard football playing in the slop in the rain. Off of two players. And it's going to come down to whether or not did he have possession when the left foot was down. I don't think so. I, I don't. Th let's take another. This will be a good angle because initially, uh, you can't see that. You can't see that. And not only that, Chris, he initially touched the ball. He possessed the ball, and then it looks like he let go of it. This is a watch, very, watch, very get, big watch, ball. Watch the ball. See how the ball left his hand? So I think by the time it left his hand, he ended up losing possession of it. Why? Look at the best angle here. Right? Yeah, I, I think he's got possession after he's already out of bounds. See, people think right, it's not it's not about that because I'm telling you, he loses the ball, and now his feet are in the air. I don't think that's a completion. To further review, the ruling on the field, the player did not maintain possession, therefore it is incomplete. Down in front four. They moved 34 yards in the drive, all of them by Gallman until that keeper by Watson. So it, it looks that they see. So Watson checks the play card in third and three. Zach Brooks is in the game. Watson just takes off, breaks a tackle, moves the chains again. There's Brooks that comes in motion. They give it to him, and he fumbles it, still booting it around. Excuse me, that's Ray Ray McLeod, 34, and it's an incomplete pass because it was a pop pass. You could see his eyes kind of turning upfield. Oh, yeah. The young guy was oh, yeah. looking where he was going and didn't secure the ball. 
Watson spun around and hit for a loss. Wear what you want, but he's, he's in green blue hat. tonight. <laughs> Watson, a downfield shot, and a flag comes in. Hunter Renfro was tackled by Kavari Russell. So Renfro, who almost made that circus catch off the carom. Pass interference, defense, number six. 15-yard penalty. Not the guy you expect. 75 pounds, former walk-on. Yeah, just got a scholarship. Big, That's pretty good. Big moment for him. Let's see why. Now, he lob it down deep. Peak. Juggled it. Luke was defending, see, and it's picked uh, off. See, I, I got to play. You're, you're trying to get the ball back to your to your offense, and you're worried about. Looking up to the crowd and giving them the shh sign, I just don't understand that. We see that all over college football and NFL football. It makes no sense to me. You're losing 21 to 3. So anyway, besides that, he's, a great play. He, yeah, he's in position. He, yeah, the ball was just thrown up. It's one of those plays you... And Watson back out there off his fourth interception of the season. Throws it near side. And the catch is made by Ray Ray McLeod. And the freshman out of... This is Watson now, a safe play in the rain. He keeps it and makes a nice... But there's still enough time, but I don't think you need to really work the, the game clock that much. That comes in motion. Watson hands, flips it short. Catch made, but it hit immediately. It looked like it looked like Watson felt that Lego was going to slip out and nobody was going to pick him up. You could see at the top of the screen the entire time Elijah Shoemate has been seeing that counter boot one too many times. They scored a touchdown on this play earlier. This time Shoemate is right there as soon as he makes that catch, along with trying to pick up first downs. Keeps it. Gets a crease. Watson takes a hit. Slam down two. Motions out. Watson running all the way, but running right into traffic. Drop for a 78 to pull around. McLean, watch how slow it develops. He's waiting and waiting and waiting. Rochelle does a nice job of just kind of uh, fighting the point of attack. There's just nowhere to go. You can see they're able to keep contain. Owolu as well. There's just nowhere to go for Watson. Schmidt midfield maybe your own 45 with about a minute to go still time to do what they need to do on third and six a very safe play as Watson keeps it but does not get much one wallow those taking this program to a whole different level and so what you saw where the saw there was not just relief but just he is so darn proud of his program and what they built here yeah forget the stats Clemson is out game